Hello, uh, my name is Vera Pritkova. I'm a research and application scientist at Cambridge Crystallographic Data Center. And today I will tell you about ultra large docking on cloud computing resources. Today we shall consider the following steps in ultra large docking with gold. First, we'll look at the role of docking in the drug discovery process. Then we will overview gold docking capabilities. And then we'll look how to set up gold for cloud computing resources. The drug discovery pipeline is a long and complicated process. We're striving to find molecules that can be administered to a human and influence the behavior of a specific chemical process within the human body to have net therapeutic benefit. The early stage activities involve heat identification. At this stage, a virtual screen of large libraries of compounds is conducted to discover binders. During the hit to lead activities, those hits are used to design changes in them for optimal properties. At both stages, molecular docking is used to discover and optimize the binding molecule. When you investigate potential drugs for a new protein target or try to improve existing medicines, it is important to know how a proposed molecule binds to the protein. Docking a ligand into a protein binding site is commonly used for post prediction. It approximates the process of, fle of flexible ligand binding to an active site. Docking can involve the knowledge of target flexibility, structural waters, metal binding sites, and preferred protein ligand interactions. The purpose of docking is to provide chemists with insights and testable hypotheses about which parts of the ligand, first of all, are responsible for the binding to the protein or should be optimized to improve the potency of the drug. The quality of an individual docking result is measured by a relative score. This is used to judge which poses generated for an individual ligand are the most likely ones. Keep in mind that docking scores cannot accurately predict whether a compound binds and its affinity. This needs to be confirmed by experimental assays. I'm going to show you how to do a simple docking using gold. Gold can be accessed either through our GUI interface that we call Hermes, or you can run gold through the command line or through our Python API interface. Here, in front of us, we see the Hermes interface, and we can access gold by clicking on it on the top. We click wizard, and we get um, the prompt where we can select the protein that we want to use for docking. If we click next, we get the protein tab, and here we can protonate our protein. In our case, it was already protonated. We can also select the tautomers for histidine, or we can flip uh, the glutamine or asparagine side chains in case they're ill resolved. We can also extract or delete the watchers for docking, and we can delete or extract the ligands or cofactors. When we click next, we get the prompt for selection of the binding site. We can either select the binding site from the atom location or from a point. In this case, we can click on the center of the cavity. In our case, we already have a ligand that was co-crystallized. So we will define the binding site from the ligand position. Here, we will select all the atoms within six angstroms of our ligand. We're going to skip the templates here, and we're asked to select the ligand. We will dock uh, the co-crystallized ligand, and we'll use it to compare the RMSD in the end. 
Gold contains four different scoring functions and the default is CAMPLP. Uh, here we're asked the search settings. Uh, the search settings should be selected based on the um, problem we're considering. If the ligand has a lot of torsions and very flexible, we can select the very flexible setting. If we're conducting a virtual screen, we want to reduce the search efficiency. And this is the very basic setup of our docking run. There are many advanced options in gold. I want to highlight the presence of the uh, water molecules if we want to use the co-crystallized waters for docking. Um, we can allow the algorithm to decide whether to keep the water or not. In that case, we would select the toggle option. Um, the water will be kept uh, only in case it forms a hydrogen bond because there is a penalty in the scoring function to keep the water. The water can allow to spin or also to spin and translate. Also, there are all kinds of um, constraints that can be utilized for the docking. So we're going to run gold and uh, when we click on run gold we have the gold con file. This is the configuration file that will be saved with our settings. This is a plain text file and we have a manual explaining each option in that file. This file can be reused for other docking runs, it can be used from the command line or from Python API. Let us now take a look at the results. We have the docking solutions here. Here we see the PLP fitness. The maximum fitness um, shows the best solution found by gold. We can scroll here to the right and we can see the Reference RMSD. So all of the um, RMSDs found in our solutions are less than two angstroms away. We can click through them to look at the different solutions. Also, we can select the show only cavity. So this, that shows us the cavity we have selected. Um, that completes our tutorial. Let me tell you now about using gold for ultra-large docking. By ultra-large docking, we mean screen of millions to billions of compounds. For example, Enamin Real database has about 700 million pharma-oriented molecules. At the same time, we have available to us, at a very reduced cost, this large computing resources such as clusters and cloud computing resources. They are allowing more of us to perform ultra-large virtual screens with docking methods. I will tell you now how docking on a cloud works. Gold jobs are generated in your local machine and then pushed to a message queue that is running on a RabbitMQ pod in the Kubernetes cluster. As a note, this RabbitMQ comes standard from Docker Hub, but we provide the documentation how to set it up with the different sets of credentials that you need for it. When you are setting up a Kubernetes cluster, the gold image for the gold worker is copied onto pod from CCDC's container image registry once, and then it's cached, and the cached copy is used for all subsequent gold worker pods. At that point, gold worker pods will be picking up jobs off the uh, job queue and return the results to the RabbitMQ results queue. The entire time, the license server will need to be communicating with gold worker pod. The results go to the RabbitMQ results queue and at any point it finds results, it writes them to disk in your local machine and then deletes them from the RabbitMQ. In order to test the cloud docking, 
we downloaded 130 million compounds from the zinc database. They were passed to gold queue in 50,000 batches of 2,000 compounds each. They're screened against the CONDAD target that took us about 40 hours with 1.9 seconds uh, per ligand. The cost of the screen on Azure was just about 2,000 pounds. Today we covered where docking comes into drug discovery pipeline, how docking works, we gave the overview of gold, and we looked at how to set up gold on cloud computing resources. Thank you for your attention, and if you have any questions, please email me and visit our webpage.